Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter. I wanted to do a video series where I'm showing off me actually doing the moves in the Iceborne beta. Um, there's a lot of stuff to cover, so I'm going to split this up into a few parts. Uh, this first part is going to be the Clutch Claw and the Slinger, Great Sword, Long Sword, Sword and Shield, and the Dual Blade, so I hope you enjoy. Now we're here in the training room. One thing that they did add, which I absolutely love, is new objects that you can do. So let's go ahead and do that. Change objects in area. And this will give you a makeshift monster. <laughs> <laughs> made out of barrels and this cute little face drawn on it and this thing will act as a monster that you can clutch on and practice all your attacks uh, which is going to be really important because that is the main new mechanics of this game so starting out here uh, let's just go over the main things that you can do with every weapon um, with your weapon out if you hold l2 you'll notice you do have the fire slinger and your claw shot fire slinger let's go ahead and pick up some ammo here in the training room we do have stones or we can simulate uh, drops from monsters, which is the Slinger Bomb and stuff like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and check that out. We hit L or R2, boop, and there you go, you got your Slinger. Um, or we can press the circle to do our Claw Shot, which you cannot do on a monster that's enraged. Do keep that in mind. And our stamina is going down. From here, we can press the circle to do a Claw Attack, which will change the direction of the monster. Or we can press Triangle to do our Clutch Attack. For the Great Sword, it's a tenderizing type of attack, so it will make the part of the monster that we did that on uh, weaker for several minutes, um, which will deal more damage and our weapons won't bounce off as much. Um, and we can also use any slinger ammo that we have and just unload all of it to send the monster flying in the direction it is facing. So let's see what that looks like. So right now it's facing this way, so if we hit R2, ooh! <laughs> <laughs> it goes into the wall. Now if that was an actual monster, it would do extra damage, it could possibly KO it, and other fun stuff as well. So those that's added to every single weapon pretty much, except for the Hunting Horn, which we'll cover when we get there. Uh, and some weapons do have access to the Slinger Burst, which is a much more ver powerful version of firing your Slinger ammo. Let's go ahead and pick up some stones, which do count as ammo. Uh, and let's check out the Greatsword. So the Greatsword does have the Slinger Burst, and you can do it after you do a charged attack. So I can hold down here and do it, and if you notice on the upper right, it'll say L2, Slinger Burst, boom. And it'll fire that off. So let's see what that looks like up against the target. Yeah, so that little measly stone, which does 4 damage, does 13 times 3. Um, so it's good for trying to stun monsters. So if you're in the middle of a charge uh, and a combo and you want to stun them, you can go ahead and hit it and hopefully it'll stun or stagger the monster so that you can pull off your next true charge slash. Now there is one combo that they added in for the Great Sword, which is great, which is after you do that Slinger Burst, you can pull Triangle and go straight into a true charge slash. Now because this is not coming out of the full combo, you do have to hold it for the three count instead of the uh, two count, which you can do here. If we're doing this, it's just a two count. One, two, uh, but if you're doing it from uh, let's see that one more time just so you guys can see it. From the Slinger Burst, it is going to be a three count. But that is a really fast way to get to that attack. And this attack is going to be super key in this game because they've now changed it so it does more damage, a lot more, if you hit on that first attack. So let's see if I can whiff it on this first hit. It's a lot harder than it sounds. There we go, 535 damage from the True Charge Slash. But if we hit with the first attack, watch what happens. So let me do it the exact same way. There we go. One, two, and boom, 669, the True Charge Slash power. So yeah, hitting that first move is going to be absolutely important in dealing the most damage that you can do. Okay, so that is the great sword. Let's go ahead and check out the next weapon. I do apologize if you hear noise. That is my PlayStation 4. It's quite loud. It's one of the older models, um, which is kind of annoying. So the sword and shield. The sword and shield, um, like every other weapon, of course, can use the slinger and the claw shot um, with uh, your weapon out. Here comes the claw shot so I can show you its attack. Uh, the weapon attack is quite nimble uh, and fast, and what it does is it causes the monster to drop a special piece of slinger ammo. So very good if you need some slinger ammo to do some stuff. Now the one thing that the uh, sword and shield can do that most other weapons can't do is if you hold L2 and then you tap R3, you can go straight into the slinger burst. Um, so from here you can go ahead and fire and it gives you the very strong sort of staggering burst. 
It does remember your choice. So if you are going around and fighting, then you go in here. Um, it will be the burst by default. If you press R3 again, it'll be slinger by default. So very cool that you can toggle between those. The other new things that this slurt and shield gets is after an evade, if you press the L2 button, you'll do this claw upper attack. Um, one thing that I did notice is that you want to not have input on the analog stick if you plan to do this. Otherwise, it might get a little confused as to what you're trying to do. But L2 does this uppercut. So what happens if you hit it with the uppercut here? You will automatically clutch onto the monster. It makes it very easy to go ahead and do these clutch attacks on the fly. Keep in mind that you cannot clutch on a monster that is enraged. Um, it will knock you off. And the very cool thing that they added to the Sword and Shield is a new automatic combo that you can do which does a lot of extra damage, um, extra proc rates for uh, status, and extra elemental damage as well. We don't know the actual values until we get our hands on the game, but here's how it's done. There's actually two ways. One is right after you do a Slinger Burst here, if you start jamming on the triangle, you'll notice it does this thing called the Perfect Rush. Boom. Looks really cool, right? Um, the other thing is you could do it after a back step. So once you do a back step, what you want to do is hit the triangle button while you still have the circle held down. So you back, hit the triangle, and here we go. We can now do the perfect rush as well. So the perfect rush is actually a series of several attacks that ask you to do button input in order to trigger the next one. So for example, if I go back here and I press it, one, wait, and if you don't enter it in, it won't follow it up with the next attack. So let's go ahead and follow it up here. And then it stops, and it, what it does is wants your input. So let's go ahead and see the last one. And the final attack right there. Now if you notice the hunter is glowing red at a specific moment, what that means is that if you press the triangle button with really good timing, you'll do a lot more damage. Here's what it looks like if we just jam on triangle. About 316 damage there, so let's wait for the uh, new total damage to go away. Let's hope I can time this correctly. Yeah, so 604, so that's a heck of a lot more damage if you can time it properly. Next up is the Dual Blades. Uh, I really do like the changes on this weapon quite a bit. Uh, for this, let's go ahead and stack fully up on stones since we're going to be using a whole lot of them. Um, so basically what they've done here is they've added in a new evade attack that also acts as that stronger slinger burst. So if you press the circle button, you'll notice you don't have any extra options on the upper right here. Um, this new evade is basically for triangle attacks. So you can see here if I press it, it says evade shot L2. Um, and that's after pretty much every move with the triangle button, it'll say evade shot. So let's go ahead and try that out here. Oop. <laughs> Um, you can do it forward, you can do it sideways, you can do it in every direction. It's a good way with some iframes to get out of the way and do damage as well. Um, the stones do 13 times 3, but depending on the slinger ammo, it may do more or less damage. Um, but it is a very cool way to jump out of the way. Um, the other new thing that they added is a clutch combo. First, let's check out the normal clutch attack here so you can see it in action. And this is a light one, so it will knock slinger ammo off the monster. Boom. Very cool, some slinger ammo there. Um, but the new thing that they added was if you are in demon mode, let's go ahead and check out, if I press the circle button twice here, um, we get this round slash and double round slash. After that double round slash, which a lot of people weren't using before, um, you now have the ability to do the clutch attack. If you do that, it will clutch onto the monster and allow you to do your finishers. Yeah, so really nice, really fast, um, and a very good way to get in there and do some extra clutch if you notice in the middle of your combo that you have the ability to sort of get on them and do some extra damage. Okay, moving on is the Longsword, which I think is going to be the most popular weapon outside of Greatsword in this game, and for plenty of good reason. It's already uh, pretty versatile in what it can do, but wait till you see the new stuff. Um, so first off, let's go ahead and take our weapon out and check out its claw attack, so claw shot. Go ahead and press the triangle button, you can see the tag here. Woohoo! <laughs> Does slice through the monster and it should uh, give some slinger ammo, but I've done it too many times to this monster in the training room so you won't see it come off. Uh, but it's actually really fast, I like the attack. 
Okay, so with the long sword, what you do is you get the ability to do that strong slinger attack in the middle of a spirit combo. You can do it after every single hit. Let's go ahead and hit L2. And if you notice, it doesn't break your combo at all. And if anything, it'll allow you to ensure that you can get to the end of your combo by staggering the monster. It's very cool that the long sword gets that option. And the two killer abilities that they added to this weapon, and honestly these are almost too good to believe, is after any attack, if you hold down R2 and press the X button, let's do that here. It's a special sheet, you'll notice we have a few seconds, we can press triangle to do the EI slash, or R2 to do an EI spirit slash if we have spirit gauge. So let's go ahead and do that again, as you can see, then we can press the triangle to do that attack. Or if we want, we can press the R2 button to do that attack. So let's walk through what each of these do. So first we're going to hit the triangle button to do the slash. So not only is it a great combo, look at my spirit gauge now. It is just gradually shooting up and it's going to do that for a set period of time. That is just insane because it's a very quick attack. It can be comboed into other stuff. And it gives you all the spirit gauge to play with, which is just crazy because there's so much you can do with that spirit gauge in this game. One of them, of course, is the other one, which is the EI Spirit Slash. Now, I can't show you here, but if you do it as a counter attack, um, you don't lose any spirit level. But if you do it just normally and you whiff, you will lose a level of spirit uh, for the ability to do a crazy powerful counter that can be followed up by a Helm Slash. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Okay, so let's see what that looks like if I try to combo those two together. <laughs> That's crazy, and again, if you're doing it as a counter attack, you don't lose a level at all. So just the ability now in the middle of a combo, you can do the Fortsight Slash you can normally do. Um, you can now do this EI Slash if you want to just sort of have tons of spare gains to play with. And you can now do the Spirit EI Slash if you want to counter and follow it up with Helm Splitter. This weapon is off the rails. So that wraps up part one. Part two, which will probably be tomorrow, will be Hammer, Hunting Horn, Lance, and Gun Lance. And I particularly like the Hammer and the Hunting Horn this time around. Uh, so I hope you guys look forward to that. And, you know, go on Twitch, go online. There's tons of people playing it right now because the beta is going on until the end of this weekend. Uh, so go out and check out all the Ice Barn goodness. It is quite amazing. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time, happy hunting.